plants, Maggie the Irish Gypsy. <laughs> My hair looks so witchy today. All right, I should probably start the video over, but I think I'll just plug through. It's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your April 1st to the 15th of 2019 general reading. We're looking at the first half of April here. Welcome to everyone, all newcomers. Welcome back, any followers, uh, subscribers. Thanks to those of you who are taking the time to tune into this video today and who follow my YouTube channel and send in your support, feedback, and comments. Thanks to all of my clients out there, regular and new, for always, always keeping me so busy with personal one-on-one -on -one readings. It's an honor always and a pleasure to read for all of you. Those of you who are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, live or recorded, can get more info and contact details by clicking on the description link below or on the About button you'll find on my YouTube channel's homepage. You can email me directly at Maggie, the number one, McGuire at gmail.com. I'd be delighted to work with you. I can usually respond to your initial request in the same day or the first 24 hours. And uh, since I do readings full time, five to six days a week, it's all that I do. I'm usually pretty diligently at working with uh, people's schedules to get you a reading as quickly as we can. So send me an email if you're interested. I do um, all main areas of life, all different types of readings. All right, let's move right into this. This reading is for the water sign of Pisces, our lovely mercurial fish, our Pisces, for the first half of April, April 1st through the 15th, 2019. If you know your rising sign, moon sign, Venus sign, you can watch those videos as well. Additional clarification is always good. As you know, general readings always play out a little differently for everybody watching. All right, let's see what's in store for Pisces for the first half of April 2019. Okay, Pisces, we begin with the King of Pentacles, followed by the Ace of Cups. We have the Lovers, followed by the Ten of Swords. Sorry, I was just getting something in there. And from the bottom of the deck, overall focus, energy, and guidance is Justice. Looks like potentially a pretty important first half of April and probably probably the second half of April too when we explore that in a couple of weeks. Um, I'm not getting that probably many of you will take a specific action or choice during these first two weeks of April. So Pisces, your overall energy for April 1st to the 15th is Justice, Major Arcana card. Justice is usually about doing the right thing. Justice is the reap what we sow card, meaning that the outcome or results of something will be a direct reflection of how we did them, what we put into it, uh, good, bad, and different. Uh, kind of like in a justice system or a court of law, the outcome is usually based on what was proven, choices, actions, not what we wished for, wanted, hoped, dreamed, but what we actually did and chose and how we um, conducted ourselves. Uh, the cautionary advice to justice is try and operate with as much honesty, transparency, personal honor, and integrity as possible because that will be afflicted in the eventual outcome of this. So it's about doing the right thing. What is the right thing to do? Looks like some of you may have recently met someone. Could be somebody new, it could be somebody you used to know before, it could be somebody you knew before but weren't romantically involved in, or it could be a previous partner. We have the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. For some of you, this might be an Earth sign person, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Somebody with a lot of stability, security, grounding. Pentacles represents that, it's Earth energy, st solidity, stability. Uh, the structure of our lives can be money, finance, property, resources, assets, tangible things we can see and touch and feel, or the efforts we put into things. Kings and queens represent individuals who are at the top of their game. So they've evolved and matured and grown and reached a balanced, disciplined uh, place in their life where they're in 
uh, a balanced control and maturity with the character traits inherent to their suit. So the King of Pentacles, if this is an actual person, whether they're an earth sign person or not, or just have a lot of earth in their natal chart, this would be somebody who's probably pretty stable and secure, probably financially comfortable, if not well off. They've, uh, they're have they very good in that aspect of life. They've worked hard to get to where they're at. They enjoy good things, good surroundings. They've worked hard to get them. They believe other people ought to have the same opportunities. They're usually pretty generous. Uh, you know, They enjoy the finer things in life and they've worked hard to gain those things or have the resources to be able to have those things. So it could be somebody manifesting like that that you recently met or fell in love with or have a spark with because it's clarified by the Ace of Cups. Cups is water energy, emotions, relationships, feelings. Aces represent the beginning, the number one, the start of something new, the beginning of a new path or the opportunity for that. Uh, the little spark which can grow into a flame or the seed which if you plant it can grow and manifest. The heart opening up again, emotional renewal or new love and romance, or it could be the renewal of an already, uh, you know, emotional renewal in an already existing relationship. So general readings can be kind of tricky that way for some of you. It's going to be one thing and for others of you, it's going to be another thing. I think for many of you, especially the feeling I'm getting and the messages I'm getting and the, the spread itself. Many of you, this will be in the emotional relationship area of your life, likely the romantic relationship uh, area of your life. Some of you, it, it could be, you can translate this to job, work, and career as well. The energy remains the same. There's some perhaps offer or opportunity coming in, which feels very exciting and new to you and promises uh, maybe some stability and security. It could be a new job. It could be a new position or a new offer You know, in that area of your life coming from somewhere else. What is the right thing to do? Justice crowns, this energy crowns. What's the right thing to do? Should I say yes? Should I say no? Um, if It looks like you, you're involved with something else or someone else and the question is, what's the right thing to do? Am I going to be stabbing somebody in the back or betraying somebody by doing this? Um, if I need to make a decision, is there an ethical way to make this decision? If I'm going to end one thing, uh, what's the best way to do? What's the, what's the, what's the right thing to do? If this is about a relationship coming to an end or choosing between two people, which it looks like it may be for some of you, or choosing between two jobs or two different opportunities somehow, you may feel a sense of loyalty to the one you're already involved in because we have the lovers and the ten of swords needing to make a choice and then a card that often implies betrayal. What's the right thing to do? Um, you know, <clears throat> ending relationships, particularly very personal romantic relationships, can always be difficult under the best of circumstances. Um, there is ethical ways to do that, you know, other than going behind people's back and cheating and stuff like that. If you really want to explore this new opportunity, whether it's in job or whether it's in relationship, uh, it looks like a decision needs to be made to, if you say yes to the new thing, then that means you have to disconnect from the thing that you're already involved in, you know, the current job or the current project or the current relationship. And there's a way to do that honestly and ethically to try and juggle both at the same time. <clears throat> well, I mean, let's be honest, it's deceptive energy and that's not a karmically good thing to kind of incur. You know, and the question is making a choice that will affect a significant relationship, possibly choosing between two people. Um, how can you do it so that it either doesn't create a sense of betrayal or lessens it as much as possible because again the overall energy is what is the right thing to do here let's clarify that justice let's pull a clarifying card for justice and again some of you this is going to be in the romance area of your life some of you it might be in job work career or something else and new opportunities coming in but it looks like you're already involved in something and that needs to be wrapped up or or dealt with in whatever way you think is best according to justice, which is a way of honor and integrity. Um, again, sometimes breakups mean causing pain and receiving pain, um, but there is a way to do it that is at least above board. I know that sounds a bit preachy and judgmental, but when you look at it just from an energetic level, that's kind of the way that it is. All right, let's clarify justice. Let's be fair, uh, a deceptive energy or a cheating energy, um, you know, even though it can come in all forms, can make an already difficult relationship or situation even more difficult and painful too. 
All right, clarify justice. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is about equality too, in a way, mutual uh, uh, mutual beneficence, uh, being equally compensated for the work that you do. In a personal relationship, it would be mutual respect, mutual honesty, mutual admiration, and even give and take a balanced relationship, an honest, equal, equitable, balanced relationship. So, you know, what's the right thing to do here? What is the even, equal, balanced, healthy thing to do here? Um, if I'm already involved in a relationship and there's something new, it just swept me off my feet and I really want to explore that, there's a way because this my, the relationship I'm already in isn't working or whatever and we can't fix it or I'm just done, there's a way to go about doing that. What is the right and balanced way to do that? Same if it's in a job or career project too, there's a way to do that. Let's pull, it looks like a bit of a tricky situation, Pisces. Um, and maybe a, a little extra challenging for our mercurial, sometimes emotional uh, Pisces. You swim in the water of emotion. So this, this looks like a bit, you know, tricky. Um, somewhat of a moral or ethical dilemma here too. What's the right thing to do? All right, advice. The hanging man, advice from spirit. So just kind of like when I thought at the beginning of this reading, um, I don't feel like action will be taken or a choice is going to be made for many of you, at least in the first half of April. And the advice for many of you is the hanging man, which represents, it can sometimes represent being in feeling like you're in stasis or in limbo energetically no such thing ever really happens things are always moving and uh, energy is always flowing if you if you can't see uh, the effects of that right away uh, the hanging man is about hanging back understanding that you don't know everything yet um, the hanging man sometimes even if he wants to kind of jump in and he's feeling a certain way and he's led towards a certain thing he understands too that not everything is known yet that things are still playing out that more will be revealed and even though he may want to rush in there and force an outcome or make the choice or take action now is not exactly the right time to do it so it's about hanging back watching as things kind of develop both your feelings the other party's feelings something may change still you may not have all the information and the hanging man can be about getting a different perspective during that waiting time and that holding time too gaining a different perspective seeing it you know um, maybe in a different way or from a different angle so that is the advice at least for the first half we'll see what uh, comes out in the mid month if this is still uh, coming out in the mid months Pisces but for now looks like kind of hanging back and seeing how things still continue to play out maybe trying to gain a different perspective um, maybe seeking out uh, a non-involved uh, person whose insight and feedback you trust that you know doesn't have anything to do with the situation uh, can maybe help get a different perspective or uh, some different insight on it as well interesting reading so Pisces, that pretty much sums up your uh, April 2019 general reading for the first half of April from the 1st to the 15th. Uh, I will see you all again in a couple of weeks for the mid-month readings where we'll look at the second half of April. Uh, I hope that you found this helpful and useful, uh, that it resonated with at least some of you. It, of course, probably won't resonate with everyone because how could it? If any of you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can click on the description link below or on the About button on my YouTube channel's homepage for more contact details. Email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I'd be delighted to work with you. Uh, I do love and romance, of course, compatibility charting, uh, career work and finance, investment readings, gift readings, and I also offer six and 12 month overviews, which take a look at what's coming in your life over the next six or 12 months in all the main areas of your life, depending on how far ahead you want to look. Uh, so a few different things to think about. You can also find me on the smartphone app Instant Go under Irish Gypsy. That link is also provided. And there's a few different reading options on Instant Go too, but most clients seem to find it pretty effective for uh, quick answers to the, the simpler, easier questions. 
for more in-depth or complex or uh, issues you want to take a deeper look at or are complicated, probably more traditional readings are best. Anyway, for those of you who are interested, I look forward to hearing from you. I will see you all again in a couple of weeks, Pisces. Until then, I hope the first half of April goes wonderfully for you. I wish you always joy, peace, and a happy life, and I hope to see you back here again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.